Hi, today my topic is simple interest and compound interest. Simple interest, it is a type of interest that is charged or paid only on the amount borrowed or invested and not on past interest. It is most important points. And the amount borrowed, we call it as a principal. And the rate of interest, it is percentage per year. I mean, it is percentage per year, which is expressed in decimal. And time the money is earning interest is called in years. Here, one year interest is calculated by principal times R, only PR. Suppose if we put here T value 1, so it is coming principal and interest rate. So interest will be PR if it is for one year. But other than one year, we must use this formula with T. So interest will be PRT. So here we have an example. An example we have here it says for buying a laptop, money borrowed from the bank that is 2000 at 9% simple interest for 10 months. So how much interest will he pays? So here P equal to 2000, R equal to 0 0.09, T equal to 10 by 12 because I wrote here time in years. So it must be divided by 12 to convert it into years. And putting all this value, we get interest equal to $150. It is very simple. Here, the future value or maturity value in terms of Z for P dollars at a simple interest rate are for T years. So we can write easily PRT already we have seen this is the interest and this P is the principal. So principal plus interest, of course, it will be the total maturity or future value. And taking common P, we can write it as 1 plus RT. So this is the formula for simple interest. Here there is an example. So we have to find maturity value. Loan is $2,000. It must be repaid for 8 months with an interest 8%. Very simple. 2000.08 is interest rate. 8 by 12 because it is 8 months. It will be in years. So using calculator we can find this value. So from this Z if we subtract the principal value 2000 we get the interest very easy also this one same equation we'll use but the example having some difference because before it was in months now here in days Actually, I want to show that these days also to be converted into years. So 100 by 365, all other will be as it is. So Z future or maturity value will be 2027.397. From this value, if we subtract the capital or principal value, then interest will be 27.398.
here also we are using same equation only the difference it is asked to find the interest rate so in this formula we will put the value for z it is given value for p and we need to find r t already given it is 6 months so 6 by 12 so from this formula right hand side 0.5 r we need to bring this left and then we can find r equal to 0 0.08 it is in decimal if we convert it into percentage it will be 8 percent very simple this is compound interest simple interest it was normally used for or it is normally used for loans or investment of a year or less for longer periods compound interest is used and important point is in compound interest interest is charged or paid on interest as well as principal this is the most important point for the compound interest interest is charged or paid on interest as well as on principal so to find a formula for the compound interest if we Check like P is the initial deposit in one year, the total amount on deposit is Z equal to P into 1 plus RT. It is nothing but simple interest formula. Same as simple interest formula. But here if we put t value 1 then it comes 1 plus r this is for first year now real actions real actions will come for the compound interest when we are in the second year so if you look at second year how we calculated the compound interest it is here we took p into 1 plus r from the first year this total first year total maturity value total we took here i put here mark this is the total we took from there because this interest will act on it previous previous years total value it will work on it so there will be 1 plus r 1 plus r so it will be square here for second year if i go for third year what happens second year what I got P into 1 plus R into 1 plus R total things will be here principal and interest and this interest will act on interest as well as on principal on third year so there is three terms so it will be three for the third year if I go for fourth year, of course, this total thing will be there. But I am jumping to T years. T years means there will be, say, T years. T years means from T minus 1 year, what was the value for Z? Totally, it will come here. That's why I put P this 1 plus r 1 plus r 1 plus r dot 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 except the last one which is the interest so all this will come from 
n t minus 1 year end of t minus 1 year this whole value will come and this interest will act on it so formula will be p into 1 plus r to the power t so the important distinction between two formulas like this was it was like uh, simple interest formula because t is here because before we found this for simple interest and here t is as an exponent so money grows much more rapidly when interest is compounded because t is an exponent Here I kept one example to compare simple interest and compound interest. Need to find future value after 15 years if P equal to 1000 annual interest rate 8% from 0 to 20 years. That's the limit. Then I have to find future value after 15 years. So here I calculated simple interest using the simple formula P into 1 plus RT. I found 2200 and here formula P into 1 plus R to the power T, here exponent, T is exponent. So compound interest value comes 3172.17. That's why I told as there is and t as an exponent money grows much more rapidly you can see the curve it is growing more rapidly than this one Here, uh, maturity value or future value, same thing, same formula. I brought it here from the previous page. Z equal to P into 1 plus R to the power T. But I put here formula in different way. Compound amount formula is this. If you compare these two formula, you can see here it is R, this is I, here it is T, this is N. But I kept on relation here, I equal to R by M and N equal to MT. What does it mean? This formula we can use if it says compounded annually because compounded annually means it is very important point compounded annually means m value is 1 so in this formula if i put m1 then n equal to t so there is no difference between n and t that is why we can use this formula but normally we will use this formula because we will use N, but we will find it when it will tell compounded annually what you will do we will put m value 1 so it will be n equal to t and here we will put r so i will be r so this i will be directly r value and n will be directly t value but if compounded quarterly then m value will be 4 automatically i value will be different as well as m value if we put 4 then n will be 40 so here we have to write then 40 compounded monthly that will be again by 12 here it will be 12 here it will be 12 so it is very important to understand this 
if any problem says compounded quarterly compounded monthly then we have to use this formula as well as these relations and here i already mentioned what is r t n m i Here I put one example to understand what I discussed in the previous slide. If Tanim deposit $1,500 in his bank account for 5 years paying 6% per year compounded annually. It is compounded annually. So I equal to R by M, M value 1 so it will be 0 0.06 will be I and n will be 1 into 5 so it will be 5 and then using the formula i and n is there so we will use the formula for i and the n at an end we will get z equal to 2007.34 interest will be z minus principal so we will get interest and this so here it says only compound amount i mean this value For the second problem, it is compounded quarterly. Now it's very clear what we will do because here, here by mistake I put n actually it is m, m equal to 4. So m4, 0.06 divided by 4, it will be 0 0.015, n equal to mt. So 4 is m, t is 5, already 5 years, so we know 20. Same equation, we can put value for i, we got it 0 0.015 and this value n, it is 20. With calculator, we can find z equal to this and interest will be z minus p, 520.28. That's all for today and thanks for watching.